Hey everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back to my channel if you're already subscribed. I really hope if you're new that you will hit the subscribe and like this video and hopefully I can get to know you guys better. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my base makeup, which is just like foundation, concealer, blush, all that kind of stuff and simultaneously how to underpaint because lately I've been doing that and I really love how it looks. I love how much foundation it saves you because you're already putting the concealer down and it doesn't go over top of your foundation. And you know what I mean? If you guys know what I mean by underpainting, just put underpainting in the comments. So I like to start off with concealer and contour, but let's do contour first. So I like to use an angled brush. Um, I use the Lime Life by Alcone brushes and this is the one that I use for my contour. So I just do patting motions like this with an angled brush back and forth. I do the same thing on my forehead and I just go back and forth in a tapping motion like this. And this is what it looks like. It's already pretty blended, but after the foundation is on and everything, it'll look even better. So I'm just gonna do one half of my face for you guys since this is the half of my face that you can see best. Next thing I do is concealer. There's like a black speck here. I don't know what that is. And I just use my hands by the way for this. So I just do like three dots like that. And then I do the padding motion again and I just go back and forth like this. I like to bring it up here just to highlight that area. I feel like it looks good. I'm not doing a ton of concealer right underneath my eyes. When I put it down, I put it down down here so that I can blend upwards and it's not getting all caked into crevices of my eyes, if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> I take my foundation, and I also use my finger, and I just swipe it on like this. And I use the Lime Life by Alcone foundation and concealer. I used to sell this stuff, so that's why I use a lot of it. And also, it's really good, but I mean, I used to get this makeup for free, so it lasts me so long. I still have so much of my product from back then like this makeup lasts me forever and i know that a lot of it is probably expired by now but it still works the same and i don't really care i have really big pores here so i use quite a bit of foundation in this general area does anyone else have very large pores right here on the cheek <laughs> i hate it and then when it comes to blending your foundation in with the contour just use a very light tapping motion because we don't want to make it all disappear but I mean obviously we do want to blend it right so I will lightly go over it with this part of my finger so that it's not getting totally covered by foundation and just lightly tap on it like this and then back and forth the other angle I think that looks very nice and natural and this is especially for all my ladies that are beginners and balling on a budget, okay? We don't need very many tools. We just need our hands. Hands are amazing makeup applicators because guess what? I'm gonna be doing the same thing with my blush. Why am I being weird? Okay. <laughs> Let's put the blush down. So I just do one, two, three. I think I saw Meredith Duxbury on TikTok do this. So I'm gonna use my other finger that I haven't used yet, this one. And I'm just gonna go back and forth with the tapping motion like we just did for everything else. Bring it up a little bit and bring it down to blend it with this contour. I just got this blush. I had never used liquid blush until like this week actually. I just picked it up. I got it from Amazon. I will be showing this in my Amazon haul as well. Don't you worry. So I actually really love it. I love it more than I thought that I would. I don't know what it is. Liquid blush is just better to blend and this shade looks good on me. I don't know. I really love it. I know that this is a lot, like it looks very red right now, but we're gonna tone it down because I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more foundation and I'm just gonna blend it a little bit better. And now it looks very natural. Do you guys love this technique as much as I do? I think that looks so good. Ugh, chef's kiss, so natural. And then I do use the brushes for powder products because I have to. So this is the Lime Life Brush 01. And this is Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I don't know what it's called, but I just pick up a very little bit. This is how much I use. 
I'm gonna set the eyes right away just so that it doesn't set itself too too much we won't be setting the rest at this time but just the under eyes this is basically the whole routine of my face I mean do the same thing with foundation up here we haven't gotten that far yet but yeah let's do the forehead now now let's move over to the nose I always take my nose piercing out just because I can. I'm not wearing a hoop anymore, so it's a lot easier to take out than when I had a hoop in. I wore a black hoop for years. I think I got my nose pierced, I believe in grade 9, and I wore a black hoop for like, I don't know, over 6 years I think? And then I finally changed it to a silver one, and then I changed it to this. And I'm liking the stud. For my nose, what I do is I use a different concealer that's better for covering redness and I just put it in here because I do have a little bit of redness in this part of my nose. And then I will use my highlighting shade of concealer and just put it down right here, make a line for where I want to contour my nose, like that. And then I'll put some on the tip of my nose and right there. And then I'll bring it up the bridge and then into my forehead right here in the center. And the same finger blending motion of tapping that I do for the entire thing. Just do whatever works best for you guys. Makeup is all about finding what works best for you. Now that this side of my nose is done, let's move over to eyebrows. So I use two different products currently. I use this L'Oreal Micro Ink Pen and the Milani Weekend Brow. Uh, eyebrow tint. So I start with this. This is what the applicator looks like. It's kind of weird. I've never seen anything else like this. So I just start by doing this. And I do both of my brows at the same time just to make them a little bit more even. I feel like that helps because my eyebrows are not the same shape. I over plucked them, I think, and then they didn't grow back the same. So is what it is is what it is do not over pluck your eyebrows you guys okay now i'm done with this tool and we're gonna move over to this milani weekend brow because the applicator is totally different you can do hairline strokes with this it's very much like an eyeliner but even more fine and i move over to the front of my brows and just start doing hairline strokes up like this so that it looks very natural like that. So this is what they look like at the end. I will just brush them through just to make sure that there's no harsh edges or anything. And this is what they look like when they're done. Let's move on to the powders now. So I start with the pressed translucent powder. I just tap my brush into it and just put it all across my face like this. And then I will go in with my bronzer. I use this fluffy Jeffree Star brush. This is Morphe X Jeffree Star JS2. I just tap it into... Oh, you guys can't even see this. I just tap it into my bronzer. And then do a tapping motion back and forth like this. If there's any harsh lines, like right here from the bronzer, I will just take what's left of the translucent powder on this brush and just blend it a little bit more. I'm going to go do the rest of my face off camera, apply my lashes and show you guys the final result. All right guys, I'm back. This is the final result. I'm just gonna put some setting spray on and we're good to go. I just used the Milani Make It Last Original uh, 16 hour wear setting spray. This is what it looks like. I really love this base routine. I think it looks very nice and natural. At the same time, maybe a little bit extra because of the lashes. And if you're curious what lashes I use, they will be in my Amazon haul that I'm going to be filming soon. Um, this is what they look like, and I don't know what they're called, actually. There's no name on there. So, yeah, if you guys liked this, remember to give it a thumbs up. Remember, whoops, remember to subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you guys on the next video.